Hi everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn how you can add an About Us page on your Shopify store in 2020, so let's do this. Okay everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn how you can add an About Us page on Shopify in 2020. So we're gonna add our About page right here in the main menu. We're also gonna add an About page in the footer right here. Okay, so let's go to your admin panel right here. Go to online store, click on that. And go down to pages, click on that. All right, so now go to the top right corner right here, click on add page. All right, so now we're gonna create the page. So I'm gonna add a title about us. like so and then we have the content so uh, if you don't know what you're gonna add to the content I recommend you to google like how to write a good uh, about us page in this uh, Shopify tutorial I'm just gonna use dummy text just to demonstrate everything we can do with the text okay so first you're gonna add a title then you can highlight the title and click on formatting and choose heading one to get the title and you can also if you want to have this centered click right here on alignment click on center or right like so so I want to have to the left and then I'm just gonna add the dummy text all right so let's uh, do some changes with the dummy text uh, let's say I want to have bold just highlight it like so click on bold okay then we can do italic highlight the text click on italic we can do underscore like so click on underline like that we can also create a bullet list so let's say I want to have a bullet list right here click right here with the marker click on bullet list and we got the bullet list right here you can also make another one, just click right here and hit enter, like so. And keep going until you are satisfied. If you want to remove a bullet list, so let's say I don't want to have a bullet list right here, just click on bullet list one more time and this will remove this uh, bullet list. Okay, you can do the same thing with numbers. Add a marker right here, click on numbered list, like so. And we can Add the marker right here hit enter and we got one and two all right we can do outdent and indent so if you see if I click on indent the text goes to the right and if I do outdent the text goes to the left like so we can also do this one alignment to the left center or right so let's say I want to have center, like so. And we can also change the color of the text. So let's say I want to change all of these text to maybe blue, like that. Okay. We can also create links. So if I highlight a text and click on link, we can add a link to an external site. We can also link inside our Shopify store. So just add a link. Like so. And then you see this one. Open this link in the same window or a new window. So the rules are if you are going to link to an external website, I recommend you to use a new window. If you're gonna link to a page within your website, I recommend you to use the same window okay so external website a new window you can also add a link title like so so this is used for accessibility and SEO so just click on insert link and if I hover over this link you will see this uh, link title my website okay you can also make uh, 
tables so if I add a marker right here click on table and we can add some text right here okay now we can click on table one more time click on insert row above you can do insert row below insert column before insert column after and you can delete row delete column and delete table like so so you can just play around if you want to create a customized table like so and click right here if you want to have some columns like so so just play around if you need to have a table on your about page and we also got the image you can click where you want to have the image so let's say i want to have an image right here click on image and you can choose product images you can choose from urls and you can choose uploaded images so in this case i already have an image but you can also click on upload image to add a new image okay so if i click on upload file you can just choose the image click on open like so click on the image you can add an image alt text okay you can change the size from original to up to 2048 times 2048 so let's say i want to have medium click on insert image okay as you can see it doesn't look very good so if i click on the image i can go and click right here edit image and we can change the size maybe to uh, large and you can also change the image alt text you can change alignment you can also wrap text around the image so if i click on that click on edit image you will see that we have text around the image okay okay so as you can see uh, the text is too close to the image so to change this just click on the image one more time click on edit image and you see this one spacing so you can space to the top to the left to the right and bottom so in this case i want to have space to the right so i'm gonna add maybe 15 and i'm gonna add the same to the bottom like that click on edit image and as you can see this creates a space between the text and image but in my case i don't want to have the text around the image and i'm not satisfied with this square image because this image is not the square so it gets compressed so we're gonna add another size so just yes, click on the image click on edit image so i'm gonna remove this wrap text i'm gonna center the image i'm gonna remove the spacing to zero like that and i'm gonna change the size to original like so and just yes, click on edit image okay so I can change the size by clicking on the image and change it right here on this uh, small square and move it down until you are satisfied like that okay so because the image is not uh, a square I couldn't use the standard sizes all right so i'm gonna use original and then i'm gonna just adjust the size right here okay then we can go down and we can add a video so let's say i want to have a video maybe in between right here just add the marker click on insert video so insert the video by pasting the embed snippet in the box below all right 
So you can uh, bring this video from YouTube and uh, you can just upload it to your channel and make it unlisted if you don't want to have it on your YouTube channel for everybody to see, okay? So I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna search for a video. Okay, I'm gonna click on the video. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go to share, click on embed. Okay, so here we see the iframe uh, embed code snippet. We can also change the start time. So let's say I want to start the video at 10 seconds in, like so. We got uh, embed options, show player controls. I'm gonna uncheck this one. Enable privacy enhance mode. So when you turn on uh, privacy enhance mode, YouTube won't store information about visitors on your website unless they play the video. All right. So I'm just gonna check this one. So by embedding YouTube videos on your site, you are agreeing to YouTube API terms of service. You can just right click, click on open link in new tab. And here you can read about the terms of service. All right. So after that, just copy this embed code snippet. Let's go back and paste it right here. Click on insert video. Like so. Okay, so this is how you can add a video. So that's it for content. Uh, you can also click right here if you want to show the HTML. If you want to maybe change the size of the video. You can go to right here, you see width 560, height 315. So you can change the size of the video right here. Okay. So let's turn it back. And then we got search engine listing preview. You can click on edit website SEO. So here you can change the page title. So this is how it's gonna look in the search engines. So you can make this more appealing. You can maybe do about us and your company name, a description, and also you can change the URL and handle to change this uh, layout and what you're gonna display in the search engines, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. You can just uh, change it to make it as good as possible, all right? Then we got visibility. Uh, if you check this one, you will uh, immediately show your page, your about page on your Shopify store. And if you do hidden, this will not show in your Shopify store. You can also set a specific publish date. So let's say you want to publish this uh, about us page in the future. Just choose the date and time. Okay, so I'm going to choose visible. So then we got template, select the template for this page. So template suffix. So this is uh, uh, if you want to have a content page, but in this case, we are just gonna have a plain page for our about page. So I'm gonna choose page. Okay. So then you can click on save right here in the top right corner or at the bottom. Okay, so click on save. Like so. So now we can go right here in the left sidebar, click on navigation. Go to main menu and click on add menu item. So we're gonna name this to about us. Like so. And we can click on search. So you can go right here, click on pages and find about us right here. Or you can just search for about us page like so. And this will find our about us page right here. So just click on this new page about us and click on add like so. So now we have the about us page in the main menu. You can also move this around if you want to have it at a different place, like so. But I'm gonna have it at the end, 
like so. Just click on save menu. Let's go back to navigation, go to footer menu, do the same thing, click on add menu item, add a text about us, click on link, click on pages, and about us, click on add. All right, click on save menu. Okay, so let's go back to the store and have a look. Click on update. And as you can see, we now have about us page right here in the main menu. And also right here in the footer. Okay, so if I click on about us, you can inspect your about us page right here. And as you can see, uh, this video is to the left. So let's say I want to have this to the center. We can just go back, go to pages, click on your page and go down. Okay, so if you click on this one, show HTML, you go down to this iframe. And as you can see now, we don't have any uh, center code before. I'm going to show you uh, just in a second. Let's go back and try to mark this video like so and click on alignment, click center and click on save. And let's go to show HTML and go down. And as you can see, we now have this div style text align center. So now your videos should be uh, centered at your about page. So let's go back, click on reload this page. And we now have this video centered. If you don't get your video centered, you can add this code by yourself. So this code in front of the iframe and also make sure to close the div with this code. Okay. And we can also change the size of the video. So let's say I want to make this video bigger. Let's go right here, change the size. So maybe 700 and 400. Click on save. Let's go back, click on update. Like so. You can also make it bigger so you get the same size as the text. You can do the same thing with the image. You can just go back and find the image tag. So in this case, this one, IMG. And we we'll also find the size right here. So let's say I want to have nine, five, like so. So 935 width and height 501. Click on save. Go to about page, click on update like so. So now we have a bigger image. And if I go back, I think it doesn't look so good with the title to the left. So I'm just going to go back, choose the title, click center line, like so, click on save and go back, click on update. So that's uh, much nicer. Okay, everyone, so this is how you can create an about page and add it to your main menu and also how you can add it to your footer menu. How you can add some text, make some styling and also how you can add a video from YouTube and things like that. Okay, everyone, so I hope this helped. Okay, everyone, so I hope you successfully created your own about us page in your Shopify store. If you like, you can check out my latest video right here. You can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already right here. And also leave a comment below if you have any questions. So I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and bye.